Hey everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you the process of making a cool 2D animation, using Adobe Illustrator and Adobe After Effects. So, this will be a long tutorial, because I will show you each and every step up to render, and get the output video file. If you don't like long tutorials simply check out the playlist. It contains the same tutorial in 5 parts. And let's get started. This video contains 5 steps. First, I will show you how to create a car, and then the background, using Adobe Illustrator. Then we move to the Adobe After Effects, for the animation process. Go to File, and open a new document. Then, give it any name you like. Drag and drop the image of the car. You can download this image by the link in the description. Then press Ctrl plus 2, to lock the layer. Now we want to create a path around the car, by using the pen tool. So pick the pen tool, and create a path like this. Just click one point, and move to another. Likewise, complete the shape. Then move to the tail lights of the car. Make a path around the object like we did before. Then move to the headlights. Now we have finished making of the basic shape of the car. But it seems like edgier. So we need to increase the curvature of the line that we made. For that, we can use the curvature tool to increase the curvature of the lines and make our shape equal to the car. So pick the curvature tool. Then drag each line in the middle like this, and follow my steps carefully. Ok. Let's move to the vertices, and give them rounded look by using the direct selection tool. So select the anchor point which needs to be round. Then drag it like this, using the small dot which appeared. Likewise round all the corners in our shape. Cool. Now take the ellipse tool, and draw a circle like this. By using the rectangle tool, we can make both door handles of the car. Then round the corners using direct selection tool. Again pick the selection tool. Drag the shape by holding the alt key, and make a duplicate. Cool. Let's move to the wheels. Again pick the ellipse tool, and make a circle like this. Make sure to hold alt and shift keys. In that way, we can make a proper circle like this one. Press ctrl plus c to copy, and ctrl plus f to paste it front. Then reduce the size of the circle, holding shift and alt keys. I will give a fill to the shape. Then it's easier to identify all shapes. Then add a black color to the tire. Cool. Let's make the alloy wheel. Pick the rectangle tool. And make a rectangle like this. We can curve the edges of the rectangle using curvature tool. Press Ctrl plus C to copy, and Ctrl plus F to paste front. 
Then rotate the new shape holding shift key. Again copy the new shape and make a duplicate. Press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the shape. Likewise get more copies. Select all shapes. Go to Pathfinder and compound all shapes. I will place it in the middle of the wheel. OK. Now select both alloy wheel and the circle. Pick Shape Builder tool. Then remove extra parts holding the ALT key. I will change fill to dark grey. Now select all the shapes of the wheel. Drag, and make a duplicate holding ALT key. Select this shape. Press Ctrl plus C to copy, and Ctrl plus B to paste back. Increase the size holding ALT and SHIFT keys. Now select the body shape. Pick the shape builder tool and remove unwanted part. I will change its color. Then it's easier to identify the shapes. Do the same to back wheel as well. I will give the same color, using the eyedropper tool. Cool. Let's move to make the window. You can follow the same steps, which we did before to make the body of the car. Pick the curvature tool and curve the edges. Get the rectangle tool and make a rectangle like this. Get a duplicate holding ALT key. Rotate and place it like this. Then select these three shapes. Pick the shape builder tool, and remove unwanted parts. I will add a fill to these shapes. You can add any color you like. Now move to make the doors of the car. Pick the pen tool. Follow the same steps as we made the body. Curve the edges using curvature tool. Select both shapes and send it to back. Press Ctrl, Shift plus left bracket. Again pick the rectangle tool and make the side mirror. Cool. I forgot to curve the edges of this shape. Again pick the curvature tool and curve the edges. I will round the corners using the direct selection tool. Let's draw the bottom bumpers of the car. So pick the pen tool, and draw like this. Then select both these shapes and the body. Get shape builder tool, and remove unwanted parts. Again select these shapes and send it to back. Press Ctrl, Shift plus left bracket keys. Now we have finished making the basic shape of the car. Let's add colors and make it more beautiful. I will add this gradient to the body of the car. We can easily adjust the direction of the gradient using the gradient tool. 
All we need to do is to just draw a line in any direction. I think this is much better. Likewise, I will add fill, to all the shapes. You are free to choose your own. Let's make the antenna, of the car. So pick the rectangle tool, and make a rectangle like this. Round the corners using the direct selection tool. Rotate it a little bit, and place it like this. Then, send it to back. I will give it dark grey color. Cool. Now we have finished making the car. So let's move to the next part. OK. Go to File, and make a new document. Width 2430, height 1080 pixels. Then give it any name you like. Let's create the road. So pick the rectangle tool, and make a rectangle like this. I will add a gradient to this shape. So open the gradient palette. I will choose this one. These are the two color codes of this gradient. You can make this gradient, by pasting these two color codes here. Cool. Let's add grass in front of the road that we made. So drag and drop the grass image into our document. You can download all the files by the link in the description. I will increase the height a little bit. Again pick the rectangle tool. Set fill color to white. Then make a rectangle like this. Drag, and duplicate the shape holding ALT key. Right click the grass image, and bring it to front. Let's create road lines using rectangle tool. Make a rectangle equal to the height of the previous shape that we make. Then place it here. Drag, and duplicate the shape holding ALT key. Press CTRL plus D, and get more copies. Let's make a green color rectangle top of the road. So pick the rectangle tool, and choose green color, as fill. Then make a rectangle like this. Press I, to get eyedropper tool. Then pick this green color, to the new rectangle that we created. Get another duplicate of this shape. Press CTRL, SHIFT plus right bracket keys to bring front. Select that shape, and go to Object, Path, and choose Split into Grids. I will increase the column number to 10. Then select each rectangles one by one. Change fill to black. Let's make the pavement in the same way. Send both these layers to back. Change the fill, to grey color. Now, pick the curvature tool, 
and curve the top edge like this. I will speed up this step, to save the time. Then, import the image of the house, and place it in the middle. Let's create the fence of the house, again, pick the rectangle tool. Then make a rectangle, pick the direct selection tool. Select these two anchor point. Round the corners by dragging the small dot which appeared. Change fill to gray color. Drag, and duplicate the shape holding Alt key. Then, get more copies by pressing Ctrl plus D. Again pick the rectangle tool, and make a shape like this. Drag, and duplicate the shape. Select all the shapes, and place here. Drag, and duplicate the shapes. I will reduce the width of these two parts. I think light grey will more suitable for the fence. Pick the pen tool, and make a shape like this. Change its fill to brown color. Now, import all the image of trees that you downloaded, into the document. Then place each one, in different places, that you like. Let's make another rectangle behind all the shapes, as a lake. I will add this blue color gradient to the rectangular shape. These are the two color codes of this gradient. Simply paste two color codes to make this gradient. Press Ctrl, Shift, plus left bracket keys to send this layer to the back. I will reduce height little bit. Pick the gradient tool and draw a line like this, to change the direction of the gradient. Then import the image of the mountain, to the document. Press Ctrl, Shift, plus left bracket keys and send it to back. Reduce the size and place it like this. Drag, and get a duplicate. I will crop this image. Here, I'm using Adobe Illustrator CC 2018 version. So if you are using an older version sometimes this option will not be available. But simply you can make a clipping mask if you want to crop this image. Anyway, this will not be effect for our final output. Let's make the sky, using rectangle tool. Then send this layer to back. Again, I will add a blue color gradient as the sky. These are the color codes of this gradient. Ok. Let's make the clouds. Pick the ellipse tool. Change the fill to white. Then draw three circles like this.
Select all three circles. Go to Pathfinder and Compound. Let's cut the bottom half of the shape. So make a rectangle like this. Again select both shapes. Go to Pathfinder, and hit minus front. Then place it anywhere you like. I will get several copies. OK. Let's create the sun. Again, pick the ellipse tool, and make a circle. I will add orange color, as fill. Press Ctrl plus C to copy, and Ctrl plus B to paste it back. Increase the size a little bit. Again, copy and paste it back. Likewise make four circles. Change the bigger circle's opacity to 35%. Next one, to 50%, and second smallest one to 75%. Select all, and place it anywhere you like. Cool. Now we have finished making the background as well. So let's move to the next step. OK. Let's export both background and the car documents to After Effects. Before doing that, we need to separate each objects to different layers. Let's group all the shapes without clouds and the sun, because those objects must be in different layers. It will easier when animating. To deselect, click the shape, holding Shift key. Then press Ctrl plus G, to group all the shapes. Go to Layers Palette. Select the current layer. Then choose, Release to Layers. Select all the layers, holding Shift key. Drag, and drop to top of the layer 1. Select layer 1, and delete it. Because it is an empty layer. Double click, and rename each layer. So it will easier to identify. Then go to File, and save the document. OK. Let's move to the next one. Open the car design that we created. We want to group, and separate each object like the previous one. Select all the shapes belong to the wheel. Press Ctrl plus G, to group. Follow the same steps for the next one as well. I will delete, this green background, because we don't need this layer. OK. Let's group the body of the car, in the same way. Now select the current layer, and choose, Release to Layers. Select all layers. Drag, and drop to the top of the layer 2, like we did before. Now delete the empty layer. Drag these two layers to top which holding the wheels. Cool. Let's rename, each layers. Go to File, and save the document. Now, open Adobe After Effects. Make a new composition, resolution of 1920, by 1080 pixels. Also name it as, our main composition. Then hit OK. Double click the project window. Then, import the saved illustrator file of the background, we saved. Select, import kind as, composition. Footage dimension as, layer size. Double click this icon. So now we have successfully imported the AI file to After Effects. Let's import the next AI file, in the same way.
cool. Now we have finished exporting AI files to After Effects. So let's move to animation process. Right click here. Go to composition settings and change duration to 15 seconds. Let's animate the clouds first. Select cloud one layer. Press P and add a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline. Move timeline to 10 seconds. Move the shape to front a little bit. Then it will add a keyframe automatically. Again select the second layer and add a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline. Move timeline to 10 seconds. Make sure to hold the shift key when moving the shape. Then it will only move along a horizontal line. Likewise, do the same thing to other cloud shapes as well. Let's check the current animation. I think it's look good. Let's animate the sun. Select all layers belong to the sun. I will change its position to the middle. You can place it anywhere you like. Right click and pre-compose. I will name this new composition as Sun. Double click to open that composition. Select all circles without the middle one. Press T to open opacity. Add a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline. Move timeline around 2 seconds. Then change opacity to 0%. Again move timeline to another 2 seconds. Set opacity to 100%. Let's check the RAM preview. I think it's too fast. Let's reduce the speed of the animation. Select all keyframes. Move last keyframe to 6 seconds holding ALT key. Now it is ok for me. You can move keyframes like that, and adjust the timing if you unhappy with the result. Let's add an expression to loop this action. Click this alarm icon, holding the ALT key. Then type this expression. Likewise, add the same expression to all layers. Let's check the animation. The loop is working fine. Now we have finished animating the sun. Let's move to the previous composition. Now it is time to animate birds. Double click the project window. Open the AI file of the bird that you downloaded. Double click to open the composition of the bird. This composition contains body, tail, and the wings of the bird. Let's animate each shapes. Select the wing. Pick anchor point tool, and get the center point to here. Press S to open scale. Add a keyframe to the beginning of the timeline. Move timeline indicator to 1 second. Change scale value of height, to minus 70. Again go to 1 second forward. Change scale value to 100. Let's set up the speed. Select all keyframes. Change the last keyframe position holding the ALT key. I think this speed is fine. Right click and easy ease the keyframes. I think this is fine. 
Now select the body layer. Press P, and open position. Add a keyframe to the beginning of the timeline. Click this arrow to move the timeline indicator to next keyframe position. Move body to upwards, a little bit using arrow keys. Go to next keyframe position. Copy the first keyframe and paste it. Select all keyframes. Right click, and easy ease them. Let's check the RAM preview. This is perfect, to me. If you are not happy with the timing, adjust the keyframes positions, until you satisfy. Now, parent tail layer, to the body. Make sure you are in the first keyframe. Again pick the anchor point tool, and move the center to here. Press R, to open rotation. Add a keyframe to the beginning. Go to next keyframe position. Pick rotation tool. And rotate to upwards, like this. Go to next keyframe position. Copy and paste the first one again. Right click, and easy ease it. I think it is okay. Let's add a loop expression, to all layers. Click this alarm icon holding the ALT key. Then type this expression. Likewise, add the same expression to all layers. Let's check the current animation. Perfect. Let's move to the previous composition. Drag, and drop the bird composition that we made, to the timeline. Press S, to open scale. Change scale value to 6%. Now, place it anywhere you like. Let's get 4 copies, and make 4 birds. Press Ctrl plus D, to duplicate the bird composition. Ok. I have placed 4 birds like this. You are free to place it anywhere you like. Then select all 4 birds. Press P, and open position. Add a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline. Move timeline indicator to 10 seconds. Move all selected shapes to left side, using left arrow key. Let's check the RAM preview. I think we need to adjust timing, a little bit. Then it will give a more natural look. I will move each layer to left side, to adjust timing. Now it is ok to me. Cool. Now we have finished animating the background. Let's move to the last step of animation process. OK. Let's animate the car. Double click, and open the car composition. Let's increase the duration up to 12 seconds. So go to composition settings, and change the duration. Select all layers, and increase the length. Select the front wheel. Press R, to open rotation. Add a keyframe. Make sure to you are in the first frame. Then move timeline indicator, 12 seconds forward. Move the slider, and find the correct direction. I will set it as, 16 rounds. Let's check the animation. I think it's good. If you are not happy with the speed, simply change this value until you satisfy. Select both keyframes. Press Ctrl plus C, to copy. And select the next wheel. Press Ctrl plus V, to paste it. Make sure you are in the first frame. Perfect. Now, select the body layer. Press P, to open position. Add a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline. 
Move timeline indicator about 1.5 seconds forward. Add a keyframe. Again move timeline indicator, into middle of those two keyframes. Move the shape to upwards, a little bit using arrow keys. Let's check the RAM preview. I think we need to speed it up. So select all keyframes. Move the last keyframe holding ALT key. And adjust the speed. I think this speed is ok. Select all keyframes. Right click, and easy ease them. Perfect. Let's loop this action. Click this alarm icon, holding ALT key. Then type this expression. Let's check the animation. Cool. The loop is working well. Let's add this car and the background, that we created earlier. So go to the main composition. Add the background, into the main composition. Also add the car composition as well. Again select the composition of the background. Then align it to the left corner. Because we are making a tracking shot of the car. So background needs to move from the left side to right. Now select the car composition. Reduce the size and place it on the road. I will move the car, to the outside of the composition. Parent car layer, to the background. Press P, to open position. And add a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline. Move timeline indicator to 11 seconds, forward. Move the car to the other side of the composition, holding shift key. Let's check the animation. OK, it's moving nicely. Right click, and make a new null object. Parent background layer to the null object. Again select the null layer. Press P, to open position. Move timeline indicator, about 4.5 seconds. Or, until the car come to the middle of the screen. Then add a keyframe. Go to the last frame. Move and align the left corner of the background, to the composition. Let's check the RAM preview. I think it's perfect. Select both keyframes. Right click, and easy ease it. Do the same thing to the other two keyframes as well. Let's check it again. Cool. Now we have almost finished the animation. Let's see how to render this and get the final output. Go to File, Export, and add to Render Queue. Click the Output Mode. Change Format to Quick Time. I will turn off the sound, because we haven't used any audio effect. Then hit OK. Also, you can set any path to export the video file. Then click this render button. It will take some time to render. Now we have finished making the animation. I hope you have learned something new today. If you have any questions, mention them in the comments section. Make sure to like this video as well as to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.